And welcome to another round of Sports Views. Tonight I am reviewing the USL Eastern Conference Semifinal Louisville City FC 2, St. Louis FC 0. Louisville City FC moves on to their sixth straight USL Eastern Conference Final. St. Louis FC loses and will cease operations. This was their last match, but they fought to the end. In the 18th minute, Louisville City scores. Cameron Lancaster gets the ball off a cross. He chests it down, shoots it short side on Morton, puts it in the net, 1-0. And then in the 83rd minute, an own goal from St. Louis off the free kick. Ball goes in. Just a bad play, a bad possible clearance. Goes in, 2-0. That's the way it would end. Now, the controversy is this. There was a penalty miss, but that's not really controversial. Wallfall took it. The keeper knew he was going to shoot to his right. He shot it softly, went down to the right. Gets saved. It's the other two. In the 22nd minute, there was a free kick for St. Louis FC. Sam Fink heads it in. It gets chalked offside, even though he wasn't offside. It's chalked offside. It is still 1-0. Then, a goal later on, near the end of the game, 87th minute, also gets chalked offside, even though a Louisville player who was defending made a run near post, where the ball went in, wasn't offside either, and St. Louis basically got jobbed. They put two goals in. They put two goals into the back of the net. And they both were called offside. But they still fought hard. They still fought to win. And sadly enough, they couldn't get more than those two goals that were chalked off. And they got jobbed on. So, it's sad. Because the way that St. Louis went down, went out, had to end their time as a USL franchise, is sad. You were hoping for the upset. You were hoping that St. Louis could pull off the unbelievable against a rival. Against a rival that is one of the biggest clubs in USL. Two-time USL Cup champions. Three-time of the last three years. USL Cup finalists. And as I said, six years in a row in the USL Eastern Conference Final for Louisville City. St. Louis tried to get that upset, and they fought their asses off. Every player, I do not think they played bad at all. They didn't get bossed off the park. They didn't really lose in possession. It was 52-48. It wasn't 70-30. They brought the fight to Louisville. They had a less passes, actually equal passing accuracy, had more shots and shots on goal, had more offside, the two of them that we aforementioned and one more. No red cards, equal red yellows, equal yellows. One extra corner, four to three. They were good tonight. St. Louis fought their asses off tonight. And I'm going to say it because this is emotion. I live in St. Louis as... Well, you can't tell, but I have been a Toronto fan in the MLS since day one. I have been a Toronto fan in every sport since 2004 because of Roy Halladay. But I do like St. Louis teams where I live, where I've grown up. I've been here since I was four. They may not be my first favorite teams, but I watch them. I want them to win if they're not playing Toronto, you know. And stuff like that. So, of course, I wanted St. Louis FC to make that run, win the USL Cup in their final season, knowing this. And they made the playoffs. They tried to make the run. They played so hard to make that run. And they fall at the third to last hurdle. But they fought every minute of this game. And I'm proud of them. Every player on the pitch. They didn't give up. 
They kept piling the pressure on. They kept making great runs. They kept making good plays. The only problem was is they weren't decisive enough in the last third, the final third. They could have shot the ball easily. There were a couple of chances where you shoot it at a little bit higher level. If you just don't shoot it straight at the ground, if you shoot it, I'd say about about two feet, two inches, no, like three or four inches higher off the ground, that's in. It's not going to be a save. They choked on pressure. Now, I'm not trying to be mean here. But there were a lot of good chances that they just pissed away by like, oh, I'm going to just pass it to the keeper. No. Two inches up, it's in. Two inches up, it's in. Off the ground, it's in. Maybe three. That's the only thing I have to complain about because they had good crossing. They had good passing. They, ha they made good runs. St. Louis. Paris G, amazing. Kyle Gregg, amazing. Rivas, amazing. Like, they all were great. The offensive players were great. Sam Fink, great. Wall Fall, great. They were all good. But they just couldn't score. They couldn't take the shot. And that sucks. They couldn't shoot higher than two inches off the ground. And that's what ended them. And... Trit Shu, the head coach, had a perfect plan for this game. The players pretty much executed it. I can't complain. For a loss, I can't complain. But, yes, watching it, did I get a little bit flustered for the players? Yes, I'm used to watching Toronto FC play. They put those away in their sleep. You have even Ben Spencer. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm not going to give Ben Ben Spencer respect. That That's not going to happen. No, no, I'm not doing that. I am not doing that, no. More like Jordan Hamilton, there we go, or Ryan Telfer. You have players like that, they would have put those away. Now, I'm not saying St. Louis's players are trash. I'm just used to a higher level of football. This wasn't it. Like, I knew exactly where they failed. I, I do. And I mean, I should as a pundit, not just being a Toronto fan. Being a YouTube pundit, not just being a Toronto fan, but watching the best team in North America, in CONCACAF, it's like, yeah, hmm, something's wrong here. It's weird when you, like, watch something else and it's like, oh, with a team that isn't Toronto and you're like, oh, so this is what it's normally like here. Okay, that's what it's normally like. Okay, yeah. You have to shoot a little bit higher. And Louisville, credit to them, they didn't give up an inch either. The defense was stout. Louisville was great too. I have to say, this match was amazing. Now, I'm not saying it was... It was good. It was fun. It was entertaining. Is it to the level of what I expect when I watch a CONCACAF football match? Whether that be CONCACAF League, Champions League, Toronto, CPL, so to speak? No, it isn't. It wasn't. And But it was enjoyable because there was the support of St. Louis, what this game meant. Do you take a dynasty down or does a team lose their final game, play their final game? Or will they live to fight another week? They lost. St. Louis is done. And they will transfer the market to St. Louis City SC and MLS because, one, the COVID pandemic and USL didn't really like the fact that St. Louis City SC wanted the St. Louis FC trademark and colors and all that, but we'll get into that later. Mostly COVID, though. But St. Louis FC fought hard. They fought to the end. And St. Louis fans, you should be proud of them. And I hope some of these players do get signed by St. Louis City SC. I hope 
they get signed now and they get loaned out for next year, whether that be a, a team like Toronto or somewhere else in the USL, probably would be better to loan them out to MLS, but, you know, whatever. Like a Sam Fink, a Wall Fall, those types of guys. I think they need to be signed because they need to stay in St. Louis. I think so. I think so. And St. Louis fans, it hurts. Because it's kind of like the Montreal Expos. It's kind of like other Toronto soccer teams back in the day. The Toronto Blizzard, the Toronto Metros Croatia. I'm not old enough to remember those, mind you. The Toronto Lynx. Not really. I mean, I was born in Mississippi. Why am I bringing that up? But, whatever. It's hurt. It hurts to lose a team. It hurts to lose a team that you put your heart and soul into. And I wouldn't want to be in that situation. I would not want to be in that situation. I would be distraught. And to see St. Louis fans rally around STLFC, want to see them win the USL Cup, the USL Championship, was amazing. Was amazing. And they fought hard to try to bring it home to the St. Booligans. And they couldn't. They were very close, but no cigar. And they are amazing players. They have a spirit that nobody else expected or thought of. They fought together in playoff mode for months and they just ran out of gas. What can you say? What can you say? So, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe, you know what it is. Tell all your friends tomorrow. First, I will be on a Toronto FC Atlanta United live stream watch along sons of a pitch soccer podcast I know I know clever right I will be on their live stream on their channel for Toronto versus Atlanta United starting at 6 30 go to their channel check it out I have it in my Twitter link and my Twitter's link somewhere on my YouTube or look up sons of a pitch I said pitch soccer podcast. Look at that up. You'll see it. It's the first video on their channel. Set reminder. You know, you know the rest. Second of all, after that, I will review Toronto FC versus Atlanta United like I normally do. So I will have my voice will be gone by Monday morning, but I will not regret it. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace.